if you haven't subscribed ensure you do so so the question reads a sky rocket explodes 100 meters above the ground as shown in figure p14.24 three observers are spaced 100 meters apart with the first labeled by letter a directly under the explosion so it is important to take note of this information so the question a reads what is the ratio of the sound intensity heard by the observer a to that heard by the observer b so they want us to find the ratio of sound intensity then b what is the ratio of the intensity heard by the observer a to that heard by the observer c so that is the question so let's re uh, uh, let's see the the diagram representing this question so this is the diagram here this is the sky rocket it explodes then this is observer a who is um 100 meters 100 meters directly under the explosion so this observer a is 100 meters direct under the explosion so this is observer a so they want us to, for a they want us to find the sound intensity the ratio of the sound intensity of by observer a to that of observer b so they want us to find the ratio so what do we do so the ratio the sound intensity ratio is given by intensity 1 over intensity 2 is equal to the radius of intensity uh, radius 2 squared over radius 1 squared so in this case it is important to note that the distance where the observer a is to the explosion or the radius where a is to the explosion is 100 meters this information is in the question so this is our equation so what do we do how do we find the the ratio for uh, the the sorry how do we find the radius from the explosion to where the observer p is so how do we do that so let's look at our diagram we can see that from the explosion here to where the observer b here is and when we connect where observer a is here we can tell that this is making a right angle triangle so here this side is 100 then here it's 100 so we can find the radius b by using pythagoras theorem so how, how do we do that let's look on how we can do it so this is how we can do it uh, radius b is given by this so you square the hundred you square the hundred here when you punch that on a calculator you get this so to find the square root of twenty thousand we you have to punch this on a calculator 
and when you punch that on a calculator you're finding that the the radius the radius is uh, from the radius from the explosion to where the observer B is is 141.4213562 meters so that's the radius and when we look at observer C it's also important that we find the radius from the explosion to where observer C is so when we do this and that we see that we are also forming another triangle right angle triangle so we can calculate the this radius using Pythagoras theorem so this is the hypotenuse so this here the distance is 100 then here the distance is 100 plus 100 which is 200 so let's do that using the Pythagoras theorem so to find the distance or to find the radius C we will say 100 squared plus 200 squared giving us square root of 50,000 so what is the square root of 50,000 the square root of 50,000 is 223.607 uh, 6067 meters so that's the that's the radius from the explosion to where the observer C is so we found those radiuses so now um, let's find the ratios so to find the ratio of the intensity uh, sound intensity uh, by observer A to that sound intensity by observer B let's look at how it's supposed to be done so this is the the equation intensity a over intensity b is equal to radius b squared over radius a squared so when we replace radius b we say this 141.4213562 then we square it like we have written here then what is radius a radius a we said it's 100 then you square it so when we punch that on a calculator we are getting 19,999.99 which is here then when we punch this we are getting 10,000 which is there so when we 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 punch that on the calculator we are getting 1.999 over 1 so at this point we can say this 1.99 we can round it off to 2 then this one remains so at this point we can see the ratio the ratio a uh, intensity a to b as 2 to 1 which is written here so that's the intense uh, that's the ratio they wanted, uh, they wanted us to find let's also look at the ratio of um, sound intensity by observer a to, to that of observer b uh, sorry to that of observer c so this is our equation i'm sure now we are familiar with how we uh the for the with the formula for um, we are we are familiar with the formula for the ratio of sound intensity so we said the radius c or we found the radius c to be 223.6067977 which is here then you square it then we said ratio a 
is 100 so you square it when you, you punch this on a calculator you are getting this when you punch that on a calculator you're getting this so when you simplify this expression there you are getting sorry uh, when you simplify this expression there you are getting this expression so at this point we can round off this 4.99 to 5 so we can see the ratio it's 5 to 1 so let's see how so the ratio of sound intensity A and sound intensity C is 5 to 1, which is written here. So at this point, we are done answering what the question required us to do. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.